As you're standing, bend your knees and then come up again. And see if you can feel without looking whether your knees track over your toes or if they don't. I feel like they're going in like a V. Okay. Yeah. And according to what I'm seeing here, that's, that's okay. true. So your knees are not tracking over your feet. Oh, okay. Now, just so that you can feel the difference, this time track your knees over your toes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and notice how that feels. Awkward. Okay. Yeah. Have your feet as wide apart as your hip joints. So your hip joints are not the outside edges of your hips. Your hip joints are where a crease in your pants would be. Okay. So have your feet, in your case, a little bit closer together, Lieta. That's it. And have your knees so that your knees are in line with your toes. That's it. And then keep one leg long and just let it rest where it is. And now slide your other foot down the wall so that your ankle, knee, and hip are more or less at 90 degrees. And here, lift your heel off the wall a little tiny bit and take it over to the outside, um, so not towards your midline, away from your midline, just a little bit, and put it on the wall. And in that place, press a little bit your whole foot so you begin to feel the connection between your foot and your hip joint and the rest of your body. And then you release the pressure. And then bring your heel back to your starting place, not to the inside, just where your heel and your knee are lined up. So right now you've taken your, your heel inside. You want it here. So it's oh. lined up with your knee. Right okay. There. That feels now, way out. Okay. Yeah. Now press there. Okay. And release it. Okay. And now take your heel in a little bit to where you thought it was straight. Okay. And press there a little bit. Okay. And then bring your foot back to its starting place and press again. Now this time, take your toes a little bit away from your midline. So just a tiny little bit away from oh, your right. midline. So they're going out okay. to the side. That's it and press a little bit there. Okay. Bring your toes back to your starting place and press again. Okay. And then bring your toes in towards your midline a little bit, not very much, just a bit, and press there. And then bring your toes back to where they started so that your toes and your knees are lined up. So you should be able to see your toes over top of your knee if they're lined up. Okay. Okay, now straighten that leg a little bit so it's where the other one is and now reverse it and take your other leg down so it's now at 90 degrees. And then in right in this spot press a little bit through your whole foot and feel the force going up through your leg into your hip joint and maybe right up into the rest of your body and release it and then take your heel away from your midline and press your whole foot there bring your foot back so it's in its starting place and just rest a moment there and then take your heel in towards your midline a little bit press your whole foot there so that you feel that force going up through your body bring your foot back to the starting place and once again just press there your whole foot release it and now keep your heel where it is and take the front part of your foot away from your midline so it's going out a little bit to the outside and press there and release it bring your foot back into the middle press and release there 
and then bring your foot in, your, your toes I should say, towards your midline a little tiny bit. Press and release your whole foot there. And then come back to your starting place and one more time, press there. And then lengthen that leg. So now both of your legs are lengthened. And then bring both of your legs now down the wall so that your ankles, knees, and hips are at 90 degrees. And see if you can do it by feeling. And now notice whether your toes show above your knees. And that's the way you'll be able to tell whether they're lined up with your, your um, knees or not. And then in this position, press both of your feet in towards the wall a little bit, and then release. Take your heels in towards the wall now, so that the heels are coming towards each other. Press both of your heels there. And, uh, pardon me, press your whole foot on both sides, both of your feet. Press and release. Come back to your starting place. Take your heels away from your midline so that your heels are a little bit farther out than, than your toes and press both feet here and feel the force going through your legs and then come back to your starting place and once again press a little bit there and then do the same thing now with your toes bring your toes away from your midline so you're kind of um, in a duck waddle position with your feet and press both feet into the wall a little bit, release it, and then bring your feet back to your starting position. Push both of your feet here, your whole foot, both of your feet from your toes to your heels and release. And then bring your toes in towards each other so now you're a little bit pigeon toed. And here, Press a little bit, both feet into the wall, and feel the force going through and the connection between your ankles, knees, and hips. And then bring your toes back to the starting place. And one last time, press into the wall again. And then let that go. Bring your feet down and... Okay, so how has it changed? Um, now I can feel that I'm standing on all of my foot instead of just on the sides of my feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling the pressure right in, at the, behind the pad behind my big toes. Where before it was as if my toes were all hanging on by their tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it feels way better, yeah. Okay, and walk around a little bit and see what that's like. Oh yeah, and I'm walking. I'm noticing how I'm hitting the pads of my feet way differently than I was. Okay. And no strain in my knee. My knee feels 